Good afternoon and welcome back to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. My name is Justin Smith and today I'm going to highlight a seven passenger low top Sherry conversion van uh, for you guys to uh, enjoy hopefully. Um, what we have in front of us is a 2017 seven passenger done in the granite exterior finish. Um, one of my favorite colors on the vans. It just really pops especially when the sun hits it. You can see that metallic in it. It's just a beautiful color. So all of our exterior components have been painted to match um, versus a, a stock cargo ProMaster, such as the front bumpers, uh, the power mirrors on both sides, door handles, and of course the running boards on both sides of the van. Now this low top seven patcher features our 17, or excuse me, our 18 inch chrome wheel. Uh, we do have an 18 inch black wheel option. Uh, if you need information on that, please give us a call. But uh, yeah, this features the chrome wheel package. And I think it looks really good with the chrome accents on this van, such as the Ram logo and our Sherry stickers. Now, the glass in the back of all of our ProMaster vans is a 5% limo tent. That's gonna ensure the best uh, protection from the sun and ensure your privacy. Now, all of our front windows, we are no longer tinting them anymore. Um, not all 50 states are, are window tent compliant. So if your state allows for it and uh, you give us a call, we can certainly put some tent on the front windows to match the back. Now moving along down the side of the van, we'll go to the back. And I apologize for the audio quality. It is quite windy today, but we haven't had uh, very many nice days here in Ohio. So I figured I'd jump out and do some videos. Uh, safety equipment. Um, all of our Pro Masters feature a factory backup camera, which is located top dead center. Um, a lot of manufacturers put them off to the side. Uh, never quite understood that. Doesn't really give you an accurate image of what might be behind the vehicle. So the way that this system works is you throw it in reverse. You're going to get a, a color visual on your navigation radio of anything that might be behind the van. And if that's not enough, you've got factory backup sensors in the in the bumper as well. So not only are you going to get a visual on your navigation radio you're going to get an audible that's going to an audible alert that will intensify uh, the closer you might become to an object so that's a great feature to go along with the backup camera other safety features the pro masters have to offer would be rollover mitigation uh, extremely pro important in a high profile vehicle also you're going to have traction control anti-lock brakes and hill start brake assist now, if you got any questions on how those features work, what they do, uh, again, my name is Justin Smith. Feel free to give me a call and I can get into better detail on those. Now, let's go ahead and dive right into the back of the van. That's what everybody wants to see, right? What's the back look like? All of our Pro Masters feature a manual sliding door. It does measure 50 inches wide, um, so it's extremely easy to get in and out of. Um, and with our floor being only 21 inches off the ground, it's very easy for uh, uh, you to you know, get in and get out of this vehicle. Um, from the ground to the running board is 10 inches. From the running board to the van is 11 inches. Um, we have the lowest clearance or lowest floor in the van segment. And that's just due to, uh, we have the only front wheel, drain or front wheel drive van on the market. So with no drive shaft going to the rear wheels, allows us to have a lower floor and one thing i'll mention even though this is a low top conversion van it has the same height clearance in the back as most competitors race roof because we are front wheel drive so you got about a five foot five interior height in our low top so as far as the interior goes in this van what we do have is a dark gray carpet a dark gray bottom wall and a light gray upper wall. Now all of our sh blinds in the back of our vans are recessed. Um, gives it a really clean look and we have blinds on all the windows in the back of the van. Now our, our interior, our chairs, they are a light gray. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up on this good enough for you to tell with the dark gray piping. Um, absolutely looks gorgeous and as you can see we have swivel seats. All of our captain chairs are swivel, will slide forward and back, and do feature a power recline. As you can see, it's reclining. 
Um, for all the mothers out there, yes, we have the tether hooks down here for the car seats and anchor it behind each captain chair. And our seat belts are incorporated right in the chair. Um, so it's easy um, to, to uh, put a car seat in one of these captain's chairs. And even for the young kids out there, they can strap themselves up with these seat belts fairly easy. Um, a lot better than some of the models out there that have the seat belts coming off the pillar. Rear sofa, same nice light gray with the dark gray piping. Uh, does have seat belts for three. Uh, if there's only two, you can utilize the armrest in the middle that does have two drink holders. And this sofa is a power sofa, so it'll slide forward and back power and completely fold flat. Now, one interesting thing that I like to point out about our setup is with the swivel chair up in front of the rear sofa, you can swivel this chair around, lay the sofa down flat, and then it'll allow somebody my height, um, just over six foot, to be able to lay down and watch the 20 inch flip down that we have in all of our low tops. Now, this flip down is paired up to an LG Smart Blu-ray player. So it has all the built-in apps that everybody's come accustomed to these days, such as Netflix, Facebook, Hulu. I mean, the list goes on. If, if, if it's out there, it's in our DVD player. And uh, so that's a really cool setup. With the Wi-Fi hotspot, you can utilize a lot of that stuff going down the road. Now, if you wanna hook another device up to that flip down, we've got you covered. All of our vans feature a 110 and an HDMI input. So whether it's an Xbox, PlayStation, a laptop, anything that uses HDMI connectivity can be run directly to the 20 inch flip down. Now we also have two USB charging ports at this seat as well, and USB in the back for uh, people on the rear sofa. The rear heat and air in this system is a Pro Air 2 digital auto uh, thermostat. So whether you're on air conditioned mode or heat mode, you set the temperature and then hit the auto button and it'll achieve, it'll do what it needs to do to achieve that temperature, such as control the fan speed and all that on its own to get to that desired temperature. All of our vans do feature a rear radio in the back of the van. Now this is designed to be uh, incorporated with the wireless headphones that are pro provided. So mom, dad, you can listen to uh, NPR radio or whatever it might be up in the front and the kids can connect um, one of their devices via Bluetooth at any seat in the back of this van and listen to their own music. So that's a really cool feature as well. Our low top, only low top on the market to have overhead storage up above um, like all the raised roof fans do. We understand that uh, not everyone can get a raised roof in their garage, so low top might be the only option. Um, we didn't figure um, that you'd have to you should have to miss out on the storage just because your garage door is not tall enough So storage up in the roof. We've got you covered there Pretty indirect blue lights that run along the top of the ceiling as you can see and also down the midway point of the wall Where we transition from the dark gray to the lighter gray um, And those can be turned on or off. They don't have to be on all the time and we do have map lights at every seat as well um, all the way around the van so everybody's got uh, some type of lighting if needed and we'll jump up here in the front of the van and that's probably the thing I love about our vans um, over the competition to get from the front to the back I don't have to get out we don't have a center console in between the front two seats everything that uh, would be in the center console is right here on the wall so I can walk right up to the front, no problem. Front two seats, same uh, nice leather material that we got in the back, the light gray with the dark gray piping. Now these chairs have adjustable armrests on both sides. They are eight way adjustable with lumbar and factory heat. Okay, power equipment in this van. Um, this van has everything you'd expect to find in any modern vehicle, such as power windows, uh, power locks, keyless entry, um, power collapsing mirrors, which those mirrors are heated. Um, so it's got all the goodies you would expect. A steering wheel in this van. Um, two, it's a, a leather wrapped wheel uh, with a smooth leather up on top 
and then a perforated leather here um, on the sides do have steering wheel controls on both sides of the airbag now these are going to allow you to navigate uh, through your um, uConnect 5.0 uh, give your uh, Uconnect voice commands and navigation voice commands uh, be able to answer a hands-free phone call uh, it does have factory Bluetooth uh, has cruise control uh, here's your Uconnect 5.0 radio this does run on a TomTom -Tom interface so a lot of you are familiar with TomTom TomTom's uh, -Tom been around for um, for a long time leading the industry in portable GPS. So a lot of you guys are, are very familiar, and I must say, 20 years in this business, this is probably one of the easiest factory navs I've ever uh, been able to jump right in and use right away without having to dig into a manual. So this radio's got um, AM FM tuner, uh, does have a CD slot, satellite radio free for the first year, and it does have an auxiliary input if you don't want to connect Bluetooth and also a USB back here in this cutty that is wired directly to the back of this radio. Um, charging for the front passenger, uh, 12 volt DC and a USB. Plenty of cup holders up in the front of this van. Um, not so, so sure why they thought you needed six, but there's six cup holders up in the front of this van. Plenty of storage, got a little, storage box right above the airbag a little slot between the airbag and the bottom glove box so you got plenty of storage up in the front of this van in nice storage containers in the door panels as well and that pretty much wraps up the inside uh, front and back of this uh, 2017 low top Promaster conversion van